uh, one thing is like he has promised me that he will sponsor for my entire family to US once his creativity comes down. And next comes a very interesting case, and uh, this is by Ravati Prasad. She is from Chennai, and her client is not in uh, India. The client is in US. Okay, and uh, so he is has got some problem with his uh, hypertension and uh, uh, kidney issues. And uh, when we look into the case of kidney failure, whether it is acute or chronic. we think that okay what else we can do when it comes to kidney we think that only electrolyte balance uh, looking into the potassium and uh, water intake and water output so these are the things that we usually see but the way ravati handled the case is phenomenal i mean one day i was traveling and she called me up sir what is this drug called why is it used and why i asked her why don't you study so i studied sir i studied everything about the drug and i think uh, this could be the cause um, for his uh, kidney failure what do you see yeah i mean talk to i mean the patient is being treated by a nephrologist in us and uh, the nephrologist has called her up who are you how did you learn because he is unable to uh, grasp the uh, enormity of changes that he is able to witness in his patient i mean you are so sick how come you become so well what happened in between then he narrated that i met a uh coach uh, from chennai her name is ravati and uh, this is what um, uh, she made me transform into now without wasting our time let's welcome ravati prasad uh, she is going to present a wonderful case so let's uh, hear from her ravati yes sir thank you so much uh, good morning all um so just a minute i'll just share my screen so hope my voice is clear yeah it is and hope my screen is visible yes it is go ahead thank you sir so yes uh, as uh, sir has said uh, it is a story of a diseased kidney and uh, i always uh, follow the statement or the phrase it is very close to my heart so we always overestimate what we can do in a day and underestimate what we can do in a year so why is this uh, mentioned here so you will eventually understand at the end of the session So now the story of my client. Uh, he is a 50 years old uh, male, and uh, he is a director of a very big company. He is in US, and he is married and blessed with two kids. And his wife is a cancer survivor. So why this is very important? Because this has a very close connect to why he developed uh, his medical conditions. So wife is a breast cancer survivor. So let's bit time travel and uh, look what happened. Um, in his uh, you know past so he is actually with a normal bmi and uh, he came to me saying that he is hypertensive and uh, he reached me um, uh, with the ckd stage 3b very precisely 3b and uh, he was diagnosed with this hypertension and ckd together in the year 2019 and he reached me in 2022 with the blood report reading gfr 38 and creatinine 2.01 and uh, glucose in the urine was 3 plus and uh, there were blood traces in the urine and he was on medications one is jardiens and candisartan so jardiens is a oha and candisartan is an anti hypertensive uh, drug and uh, my client is not a diabetic but still he was put on oha and uh, still more digging deeper then i found out that he was on multivitamin tablets 15 years on his own he never consult uh, consulted any doctor for that and uh, so generally clinical dietitian we stop with here but i a little bit went and uh, i asked him to do a body composition analysis so generally body composition analysis we actually look into for the sports personality i mean sports uh, people or something into fitness or th those kind of stuff but uh, i feel i felt like this has this has to be taken care of so his body fat was 22.5% which was quite normal and water was like 51.4% still he was in the normal but when it come came to muscle he had only 39.7 percentage as against a minimum of 73 to 85 percentage so this is where uh, my um, uh, challenge begin and uh, so you know going into the history so when a client comes to us what we generally do is like this is the primary complaint what the primary complaint is ckd and uh, why ckd then uh, i come to know that he was hypertensive and then i was asking him why hypertension like what is that stress he is going 
go, going through in his life because as a holistic coach we just don't stop with the clinical aspect but we also address the emotional part and uh, so when i was talking to him so he narrated that uh, uh, right now he is not uh, having a very good relationship with his wife especially those physical intimacy is not happening so he is like very much uh, low and very much frustrated so much of resentments then i asked him like um, is that uh, this kind of a relationship since his marriage then he told no so 2019 he got diagnosed as a ckd but in 2018 his wife was diagnosed with breast cancer and from 2018 up till he was diagnosed he was literally running pillar to post taking his wife for the treatment taking care of the household chores taking care of his own work his professional front and also the children because we all know that in usa you don't get help helpers like you know they you don't get maid and people uh, don't come and help you for the cooking and other stuff so everything has to be taken care by himself so he literally was suffering so because of this one year one and a half years of struggle immediately he ended up having this uh, hypertension and uh, ckd simultaneously so now when it came to me first of all uh, all his blood parameters were absolutely normal this potassium sodium the electrolytes were absolutely good one was really good only thing is the creatinine so i started googling like what could be the possible reason so i started with all possible reasons digging in deep so the first thing very very is primary one um, very basic one is like the muscle breakdown so we all know that creatinine is a fuel that has been used for the muscles and when there is a muscle breakdown automatically creatinine metabolism of uh, this creatinine it it leaks out so now what happens is the muscle breakdown was happening and we generally as a clinical dietitians what we do when once a person is detected with um, uh, ckd or any renal failure for that matter we immediately stop or we try to restrict too much of protein but what happens is when we restrict too much of protein very low protein diet obviously the body has to make up for the uh, protein need so it starts breaking down the muscle to make up the protein so this was happening in his case because the uh, 24 hour recall and the frequency and all it showed me that very very low protein in his diet and uh, next comes was like i was just wondering how was his testosterone levels though i couldn't get it checked but testosterone is one hormone which is very essential for muscle build up so if there is a drop in the testosterone then obviously the muscle build up will not happen the way it has to be so this is the second reason and the third thing is like the medication so as sir already said so i was bit skeptical why jardians because he was he is not a diabetic so when i inquired with the client uh, uh, it really shocked me that uh, the doctor has actually told the client that this jardians is a uh, trial medicine for ckd i do understand that the ckd patients are like risk for uh, you know developing diabetes but they have put on him and the best part is that the jardians actually regulate the sugar by excreting excess glucose in the urine so putting so much of pressure on the kidney adding fuel to uh, fire along with the hypertension so this was uh, really a good learning for me so i started really uh, working on the medication part from then on with all my clients and next is the hypertension part so when it comes to hypertension um, uh, we always look into the salt but there is something called uh, we have to work upon is this uh, parathyroid hormone so when i checked this pth it was it show it read it is hyperparathyroidism so we all know that this um, pth actually helps to Uh, balance the calcium but in this case what happened was he has elevated phosphorus in his blood and because of that to you know compensate that calcium phosphorus balance the pth was doing over time and eventually uh, the uh, pth was high and uh, the calcium was also there in the circulation so what happens is there are so much of possibilities that these excess calcium can deposit in the uh, you know blood vessel making the blood vessels harden and the moment the blood vessel loses its elasticity obviously the pressure is going to build up so this was one of the reason again uh, what i felt in this case that a hypertension and because of that it is putting too much of stress on the kidney also and very important uh, thing which uh, i really learned it through my practice is uh whenever you read a medical uh, report or in, in terms of blood reports always check with the client whether uh, he or she underwent any kind of partying or um, you know any kind of dehydration any episodes of diarrhea you know all those stuffs because 
this really impacts the outcome of the uh, blood report and uh, what happens is if there is for example dehydration then the blood biochem becomes more concentrated and it might give you a different reading so this is one i learned and second thing is like always try to uh, compare the readings of same lab rather than moving on to different different lab because every lab uses different reagents to test the uh, you know biochemical parameters and sometimes they also use a different uh, technique also so there could be a slight discrepancy and when it comes to creatinine even point that one also matters a lot Again, uh, as a holistic coach, uh, as our sir always says, we don't treat the condition, but rather we treat the person. So it is like a person is a sum of thoughts, beliefs, uh, lifestyle. So lifestyle is being decided upon the belief system, you know, upon the habit. So when it comes to uh, this case, uh, this person had got so much of resentment, which actually developed into hypertension. And this resentment is not only because of that acute thing which happened just one and a half years, but he also underwent a lot of childhood trauma, which I cannot explain right now because uh, the time will be not enough. So this happened. And um, the renal disease is because of this person cannot take up criticism. And uh, we all know that not every hypertensive client or patient develops renal disease. And uh, of course, there is a risk for you know developing renal disease, but not everybody. So we all know at least two decades or a decade of hypertensive clients still they are you know doing good. So this is one thing which which I observed and I started counseling accordingly. And now the outcome. So uh, the first blood test you can see that uh, the bun and creatinine which was taken on uh, January 2022, but he joined me in the month of April. So we started working on and uh, you can see that the creatinine was 2.01 and um, you can also see the PTH is 71 which is supposed to be less than 60 and phosphorus was 3.7 which was high again and uh, you can see this urine the glucose in the urine was 3 plus and there were some blood strains also and uh, you can also see the creatinine in the blood I mean in the urine that is creatinine clearance was 56 and the protein creatinine ratio was 168 and just in three months of time that is from april after my consultation he repeated this test and the things got it really working well and you can see this creatinine started dropping and the pth started coming down to 52 and phosphorus you know it it was maintained to the range and just three days before the test i asked him to stop jardian just to make him understand that why jardians is actually the culprit actually and he stopped this glucose i mean this uh, jardian just three days before and look at it there is no glucose there is no blood traces and you can see a very good improvement in um, creatinine clearance and the ratio to uh, protein to creatinine dropped really well and this one which is taken in the month of uh, december as i said the day before the testing, you have to really take into account what the client went on. My client went, um, uh, had an emergency. So he was, he went to an emergency. He got some muscle spasm where they purposefully dehydrated him. And the next day he had a blood test and look at the creatinine level 2.28. So he was like literally um, shocked and he came back to me. I told him, first of all, this is from a different lab. This wasn't from the same lab. And second thing is like the day before he underwent some kind of a trauma, acute stress, especially dehydration. He was made dehydrated. So all these things uh, went haywire. And now in 2023 he's still with me and still renewing i'm still with him so now the creatinine is 1.64 and uh, his rbc is really improved and i'm just waiting for the other reports also from him so this is in terms of the uh, blood parameter and it comes to body composition analysis so my interest was uh, fully with the muscle. So you can see when he joined in the month of uh, April 2022, his muscle mass was 39.7, wherein in this year, in the month of March, his muscle mass is 40.9. So you can very well correlate with the muscle improving, the creatinine also is coming down. And uh, so I really recommend all of you to just go with biochemical, I mean, uh, body composition analysis also 
for uh, treating any medical condition. So key takeaway is obviously as a holistic coach, we definitely take consideration into the emotional aspect. And whenever there is a, a problem, the client comes to you, please address the comorbidity. It need not be, you will have to really directly address the kidney, but uh, address the hypertension or if the patient is diabetic, address the diabetic. You re we really don't need to work on the kidney itself. Kidney will heal, will heal itself. Only thing is we have to provide the right environment and medications whenever a client comes to you please get the medications to key takeaway from the medication is first of all find out the mechanism of action and second thing is like uh, look at the target organ on which this medication is working on and next is the body composition analysis as i said just look into the muscle mass the fat mass bone water everything very very important and diet it, when it comes to kidney disease it's not just the salt the electrolytes and the proteins it's beyond that so we have to really work on it so here comes my favorite phrase again so we always overestimate what we can do in a day and underestimate what we can do in a year so this is a journey uh, with my client of one year i'm still with him and uh, one thing is like he has promised to me that he will sponsor for my entire family to us once his creatinine comes down this is a promise from him and he is not stopping now thank you so much That is so wonderful to hear, uh, Ravati. You didn't mention that he promised you that. <laughs> okay. Um, so those of you who are uh, listening to this, and uh, if there are students and clinical dietitians, uh, there is one small information about Ravati. Uh, she runs a course called uh, Applied Holistic and uh, Clinical Nutrition Course, wherein she discusses all the clinical parameters, right? So diagnostic parameters and how to take the case history. And uh, it's an online course, again, just like HNTP, it is a self-paced course. And uh, uh, she is there in WhatsApp group. And if you have any queries regarding the case or uh, if you want to work with her or to learn from her, you are free to reach out to all the uh, 12 coaches. They are available in the WhatsApp. Feel free to ask your questions. Again, that's a wonderful uh, presentation, uh, Ravati. Well done. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, so uh, if you look at the diagnostic parameters, one thing that strikes me or strikes us, should strike us, is the uh, diagnostic parameters, as she rightly mentioned, so don't look read those diagnostic parameters as uh, values written on the wall or uh, on the stone. Okay, they are transient. They keep changing with your emotions and the way she uh, actually uh, explored. What did you do the day before your test? What happened? So unless another way you see that you think that okay, my my coaching or my counseling is not working, you may get disheartened. So that's where uh, the history taking plays an important role. And uh, in holistic uh, approach, what we focus on is connecting with the patient. Okay, who will sponsor the entire family to US? I mean, just because she is a coach. Okay, what I mean to say is, so this is the kind of connect. This is the kind of uh, things the patients are willing to share. See, as we are doctors and we do have limited time, what we do is we look into the parameters, clinical conditions, and we prescribe diet. But a dietitian has got a lot of scope to connect and to heal the areas which we doctors cannot do. And I'm glad all of them are doing wonderful work.